Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be building a crib for the third day. Can you believe that? That's crazy. So the crib you see behind me and pieces all over the place is the Dream On Me Ashton crib. We bought it for this one right here, didn't we? This was your crib. Yeah. We bought it off Amazon. I will go ahead and leave the link down below if you're interested in this crib. It has been to two houses now, two kids, and now we're gonna rebuild it for the third kid. I lost the hardware to it though. I put it all in a baggie and I put it in storage with the crib, but the baggie is gone and I don't know where it got to. But you can actually buy crib hardware. You can buy crib hardware on Amazon. Um, I think this was like eight or nine dollars. So I'll link that down below too if you are missing hardware for your crib. That'll save you a couple hundred dollars versus buying a new crib. I think you can also just contact the company and get some as well, but this had one day shipping from Amazon for $9. I'm like, it'll just save me the hassle and I'll just do that. So now the fun part is getting it back together without the instructions. Woohoo! Um, I've already done that once, so I think we can manage again. I'm pretty familiar with the crib because we've only had it for like four years now. So, hey, hey Lee Ann. And it's pretty durable, as you can see. If it lasted through this one, it can last through any kid. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the back you see here. And then this is the part, obviously, that the mattress lays on. And I still have that attached because it attaches right here. And it just folds up and down like this. So there wasn't really a need to just take the whole thing out. So I still have those two screws at least. And um, some of the other parts, like obviously, like all this stuff went together. So I didn't have to fully disassemble it. I just need to put these, this is part of the front, and then the sides and the actual front panel on. Good singing. Okay, that's enough. Good job. All right, so it's not the easiest thing in the world, but we're getting there. I've got the other side on. I just need to put this one last piece on here, right across here, and then we are good to go. Some of these screws are whew, driving me nuts, trying to get them in there, but we're almost there. Just gotta get that one piece in. I'm going to sterilize it because it's been in storage. I'm gonna wipe it down with like Clorox and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, we're almost there. All right, there we go. It is built. I'll show you guys what this looks like. There you go. In case anybody wants to know, all of this stuff is original from Maddie's room, like this and this and all this other stuff. This is what we used in all of them. So there we go. That's a baby crib. It's a baby crib. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want to get in it and sleep in it? Yeah. I mean, I know some people that have kept their three and four year olds in cribs still. I don't know how that works, but I I know some people that have. So, all right, now we gotta wipe it down and clean it up and make sure it's ready to go. And you think you're doing what? You don't need to get in there. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. In case anybody has been wondering about Kaylee and why she's not in a crib, because a lot of people still do keep their two-year-olds in a crib, um, I started student teaching in August, and um, as you can tell, Kaylee's a little bit adventurous, and she was what? August. She was a year and eight months old. Twenty months old. I like baby toy. It's not a baby toy. It's a crib. It's a bed. A crib and bed. Yeah, you used to sleep in that. Just not even a year ago. Um, Twenty months old. A year and eight months. She. On the, the morning that I was getting ready to go to my first day of student teaching, 
climbed up over this side and got out of her crib, right? Which to me is super dangerous because we have wood floor, there's no padding, none of that. So that night we had to switch her to a floor bed so she wouldn't climb out of this, which actually went okay. Honestly, both of the girls switching from the crib to the floor bed at not even two years old was really good for them. They actually slept so much better. Hi, KK, love you. But anyway, so let me clean this up and give you guys a tour of the Dream On Me Ashton crib. Kaylee, you are something else. Okay guys, so this is the crib. Why did you just dump your ice pop on the floor? I did this. You did, can you leave the light on please? So this is the crib. I do want to say that I really do like this crib. Um, I think it looks nice. It's not super expensive or anything like that. Um, so it's not fancy, but like I said, it's four years old. It's gone through three kids. I love you. A tornado I love you. Yeah, you are. Do you want to get in? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's sturdy. Right now I have it on the second lowest setting, so it can still go down one more, um, but this is how big it is. Maybe I should have Kaylee stand in there so you can see. So here you go, now you can see. Second lowest setting. So if this doesn't prove how sturdy it is, then I don't really have any other way of proving to you. As you can tell, she is crazy. My yeah. My you, are you ready to get out? Maybe I should put it down on the lowest setting and put something over top and just keep her in there all day. What do you think? You're gonna lay down? Okay, lay down. I do have some um, bumpers that go along here. They are the breathable ones. They look really, really nice when it's set up. And a crib skirt, which I'm not really sure where it is. I have to find it. It's packed away somewhere. And then I also have um, the guards along the side because they did chew on it. So I tried to like, I mean, there's still some marks all over this, but I tried to keep it in like a decent condition in case someday we do want to sell it or, you know, we had more than one kid, so. just woke up and she's in the playpen which I'll show you in a minute but for right now I just got the bed sheets washed here so I put those on the crib so here it is so that is what it looks like right now I don't really know where I put the bed skirt but the bed skirt looked like this with the chevron design that I have all over the place um then I also had some decorations I don't really know where they went so I'll probably just get some new ones or make some new ones I actually made them last time so mm -hmm to find them I don't really know where they are but there's that um, I hung the camera up here I just have um, they're in the basement where Danny's working I've got little clips that stick onto the wall so it can like go down along the side here that way it's not just kind of like hanging out like that but yeah that is essentially what's going on right now so it's coming together if you've been watching our vlogs for a while I used to have the crib against this wall it actually fit really nice and then like right here if you can see that little dot on the wall that was where the camera used to hang. <laughs> That's where the camera used to hang um, looking down into Kaylee. But I have this little rug here now and I think it's just gonna work out better this way. I used to have the changing table in here and I had a rocker in here. And honestly guys, if there are two products that I could tell you not to buy as a mom, it's a rocker and a changing table, but most moms probably would tell you to buy those. I didn't use either one of them. I never once used that rocker. We used it for our pictures with Madeline, do I even have, oh no, I don't have them up on this wall. Um, our pictures that we got when Madeline was born, I sat in them for some of our pictures, but other than that, never used the rocker. It was the biggest waste. And the changing table we never used because we either changed them on the bed or like on the carpet on the floor, something like that. Just didn't use the changing table. So I sold both of them when we had Everly. Didn't need them. Saves space, saves money, so yeah. How is it? It's yummy. It's yummy. What are you eating? I am, I know. Pasta. 
Um, Say spaghetti. 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 Say spaghetti. I got ice. You do have ice. What else do you have? Um, too. Yeah, you've got peanut butter and jelly over there. That's garlic bread. Say garlic bread. Garlic bread. What else do you have? Say spaghetti. Spaghetti. And you had meatballs. Mm. Say meatballs. Meatballs. And spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh. I just got home from guard practice. Say hi. Did you have fun with grandma and grandpa? Grandpa even came to say hi. Right? Hi. Did you have fun with grandma and grandpa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need to go check on baby Ev, okay? Sweeping. She's not now. <laughs> Woke her up. 